guys, Steve Wang with Sierra Whiskey here. And uh, so we're talking with the guys at Six Hour. And we wanted to know what the latest and greatest was, but we also wanted to dive into the competitive shooting side. And you know, there's a whole segment that SIG devotes to competitive shooters. They put a lot of attention to detail, and especially one of the new rifles here. So everyone knows this guy, all-time national three-gun champion, Daniel Horner. So welcome, Daniel. Thanks for joining us here. Thank you for having me. And uh, so can you tell us a little bit about this uh, new MPX that you're holding here? So this is the new uh, MPX PCC. Um, mm -hmm. It's a great rifle out of the box. It's totally ready for competition. You're able to pick this thing up and go out and win a national title with it. I mean, starting at the end, we've got a three port comp, 16 inch barrel, mm -hmm. nice handguard. It's thinned down from the previous model, so it's light, but it also is very comfortable. Uh, ambidextrous, everything, magazine release, bolt release, safety. Uh, Collapsible butt stock as well as folding and nice ambidextrous feature. charging handle. So yeah, I mean you mm -hmm. I literally took mine out of the out of the box mm -hmm. and went and demoed mm -hmm. at the range day at SHOT Show. Okay. Didn't do anything. We've got a Timney trigger. We worked with uh mm -hmm. with Timmy. I mean they make great uh triggers. They built a trigger specifically for this gun because there's a lot of things with this MPX. It's it's a, a rifle that fires nine millimeter, but still there's some things that uh don't quite translate exactly the same way that a, a rifle does. And one right. of those things is the bolt velocity. The bolt mm -hmm. velocity on this thing is very high. Uh -huh. So Timney was able to fix this trigger and make it awesome. So out of the box, ready to go, mm -hmm. uh, great gun. Okay, now that's one of the biggest things, guys, is anyone who's built their own PCC knows that it's a lot of different parts, especially if you're trying to work with like an air platform that is the most popular to customize. People try to play with triggers, some triggers work, some triggers don't. And you hear all this mess and hoopla online about, you know, this works and this doesn't. But it's not actually the fact. It's what is tuned for your action and the bolt velocity and the movement that you have. That all plays into tuning the trigger to match that. And that's one of the most important features. So six hours basically figured it out for you. So why go out and bother yourself and pull your hair out trying to figure it out? And the, the amount of the testing NPX. that goes into these things is, is phenomenal. I mean, mm -hmm. just the trigger, they took three guns to 10,000 rounds just to ch test the trigger. Oh, so, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know very many uh, enthusiasts that are going to go out and mm -hmm. build three different guns and test 10,000 rounds on each just to see if they've got the best trigger or not. Oh, you yeah. Know, the, the high speed footage, mm -hmm. the testing, everything, I mean, it's already done for you. So, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a really great value. Okay, now um, I noticed there's a uh, SIG obviously make to optics. So, what's this optic that's on here right now? This is the Romeo 6, mm -hmm. uh, so it's a uh, kind of a tube sight. Uh -huh. um, it's a great optic for this gun. Mm -hmm. um, we also have the Romeo 4 here. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of guys will run this on their carbines or their PCCs. Um, however, if you're looking for something up close and short, a lot of guys like the Romeo 3 uh, on the PCC. So. This is a little bit smaller, a little less features. The Romeo 4 will allow you to uh, change the reticle. Um, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, um, but you know there's some pros and cons to each. Okay, now I know there's a lot of guys that, are, that like this lightweight option. They want something simple, but would you as a professional shooter recommend something that's different for say someone shooting a local match versus someone shooting like a national title match? Because the game's a little bit different, right, in the, in the array of targets? It is, uh, you know, some people, um, they like to use a larger dot on the, uh, the local stuff because generally you're not shooting quite as far. Mm -hmm. And then they'll go to a slightly smaller dot for some of the major national type stuff because you, you might have smaller targets at those extended ranges. Personally, I just use the small one all the time okay. because, uh, uh, you know. Because you're a pro it, though and you can yeah. do it and you're fast and no one can dispute you. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, you know, the other side of it is, you know, if, if there's, there's some little tricks, like if you want, you've got a smaller dot, you can turn it up a little bit in the brightness intensity and you'll see it, it will appear larger even though it's not. Uh, That's so, a nice trick, letting it flare yeah. a little bit to give you the appearance of, of a larger dot. Right, so anything up close, you can, you can bump it up a little bit. Um, and, a little bit outside of what you would normally do, and you still got that speed. So, okay. you know, I like this. Um, I use this for pretty much everything. It's super rugged. Um, okay. A lot of uh, these are actually fielded in the military. I mean, yeah. they've done phenomenal amount of testing on this optic. But mm -hmm. every now and then, I will throw a Romeo three on there. And okay. Burn it down too. Now, one of the things is we do need reliability. You do need you do need your optics to be rugged, and you need your guns to perform. 
Now, especially if you're shooting, say, some of the multi-gun matches and they're incorporating PCC now, like UML, uh, they have the 2x4 division. I've seen you throw your guns when you ditch. Oh, yeah. And you don't just gently put them down. No. You literally harpoon this thing into, yeah. the, into the dump box. Yeah. So, I mean, that goes to show you, I mean, it works every single time. I mean, Daniel's yeah. proven it. So that, That's one thing about these optics. A lot of effort and a lot of testing and design has gone into making sure that they maintain zero. So, mm -hmm. what, you know, it, everyone that deals with these things knows that maintaining zero is the biggest uh, issue with a red dot sight. So that's one thing that SIG has done a phenomenal job. We've spent a lot of time making sure that when you mount that and you zero it, when you come back in a week or a month, it's exactly where it was. Okay. Now, is there a certain MOA dot size that you recommend? Uh, like, what do you use, for example? What's your go-to? Uh, I like the two-minute dots. Um, okay. But I, I like the smaller one, one minute, two minutes, something like that. But it, I recommend you go with whatever's comfortable. If you have, if you have a little bit harder time seeing something, mm -hmm. a big dot, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I would, just prefer the smaller ones. Okay, would you recommend like maybe someone starting out who's just getting into the sport, maybe they can use something with a larger dot, like maybe one of the SIG optics has like a six or eight MOA, something yeah, of that nature? Um, the, the thing that I, I try not to get to where the size of the dot will mm -hmm. impact my shooting, so mm -hmm. it, as far as my aiming. Okay. So uh, what generally what happens is if you're shooting a lot of steel and you're shooting a really big dot and you're mm -hmm. shooting it, like I said, small, small steel targets, when that dot touches the edge of the steel, you'll fire. And if you've got too big of a dot, it'll go right by the edge of the plate. So I like the smaller dots because it makes me get it actually on the plate. Okay. Um, but if you've got the, the discipline to actually aim in the middle, uh -huh. you'll be fine with whatever dot you get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. All right. Well, thanks for the tip for our viewers. So, all right. So where can everyone go to take a look at the products about the new MPX, the you know, the Gen 3, and then also the optics. All of this stuff, the, the rifles, the pistols, the carbines, the uh, ammo, the optics, everything's available at sixhour.com. So go check it out. Uh, we've got an answer to pretty much every question shooting related on there. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate yeah. it, Daniel. Thank you. All right. Take care. Thanks. All right, guys. Remember, check out sixhour.com.